Hi everybody, this is for today, tomorrow, day after, and the months to come, a promise and an encouragement for you. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 it says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew you. And before that thou comest forth, out of the womb I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. So this is to tell you about three things that God has made you to become. If God sets something in his mind, he will make it happen. Whether there's problems, whether there's situations, whether there's pandemic, whether there's corona, God will make it happen. And I would like to tell you the three things. God knows you. Number one is God knows you. He says before you were formed, he knew you. Just imagine what a God he is. Before you were formed, he knew you. And the second thing, he set you apart. He sanctified you. He set you apart. Sometimes we try to do the right thing. It always ends up the wrong way. But God set you apart for a purpose so that that purpose would be fulfilled by him alone. That's why he's called God. He says what things are impossible with man is possible with God. When, when Mary... <clears throat> thought that she would just get married and you know live a life normal but God had other plans for her God had sanctified her and set her apart to bring in the most important person in this world called Jesus and we thank Mary for whatever God has done in her life to bring forth Jesus by just being set apart by what God had done for her to set apart and then there's a call on your life. He says, I ordained you. There's a call on your life. You may think I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And so many things are not happening in your life. But there's a call and God will make it happen in your life. And once he calls you, he will also prepare you for certain things. That's why he's, he says, told Jeremiah, I've made you a prophet. That means there's a designation on your life. And you don't have to worry about what job you're going to get or I'm losing this job or I'm, I'm not able to understand what's my future. But you must know one thing. God, to God, you are very important. If to God you are very important, then the rest does not matter. If to the world you are not important, it does not matter. If to the people or a, or, or a neighbors or anybody you are not important, it does not matter. What matters is that to God, you're important because God has a plan. And the plans that God has, he will bring it to pass. He says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I have great thoughts towards you, thoughts of good, not of evil, to give you an expected end and a bright future. So let's be prepared. This is the beginning that God has given me to give you for the days to come. And we are weekly, we will be sharing things with you. And um, I'll be signing off. I'm Pastor Tommy Lopez from Mumbai. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you for everything that you've done for each one that's listening. It's not by chance we are on earth, but it's by a miracle we are on earth. And we thank you, Lord, that whatever you want to do, you will bring it to completion. And when you bring it to completion, there's going to be a mighty move of yours through our lives. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the ordination of our life. You are ordained to be people of God that you've called us to be. And we will come to, it will come to pass, Father, in Jesus' name.